Hello, this is Terrence Thomas of Monster Golf Swing. In this video, we're going to discuss what muscles are used in a golf swing. Now, before we get started, a little bit about me. I'm looking to reach 20,000 subscribers, so if you haven't done it already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am a Czech certified golf performance specialist and strength and conditioning specialist. I'm also the author of the Monster Golf Swing Performance System, and for more information on that, go to monstergolfswing.com. So, what muscles are used in a golf swing? Now, this is a this is right in my wheelhouse, being a kinesiologist and a strength and conditioning specialist. So this is uh, this is going to be quite fun for me. So the short answer is all of them, but I know you didn't come to hear that. So let's get into the specifics as to what muscles are used in the golf swing. I think the better question is how the muscles are used and by understanding this it will give you a better perspective on what muscles are used but this particular shot that you're looking at here is giving you a general view of all the muscles that are involved uh, in the golf swing which is essentially uh, all of them you got your quads going you got your abs you got your arms your your uh, the extensors in your arms you have your pecs you have your flexors so depending on where you're at or what phase you're in in the golf swing, certain muscles are going to be active. But you know, in all intents and purposes, any time that you're moving in a way that one requires rotation and two requires you to maintain your center of gravity or balance, it demands the entire system. If that makes any sense, it's like if we were wrestling. And I was constantly trying to knock you off balance. You're going to use every fiber of your being um, to keep to keep me from doing so, and it, and you do it reflexively because it's a survival reflex. So in essence, the golf swing activates some very primitive survival reflexes that causes the body to use everything during the during the golf swing. So, but to get into specifics, let's look at this next slide. So if you look at the muscles that are involved in the backswing, you can see quite prominently that obviously the core is, is involved in all phases, but on the backswing, you see your, the core is rotating the trunk backwards. Um, you got your external and internal obliques working uh, synergistically. You have the inner thigh muscles that are stabilizing that hip to be able to rotate on the backswing. If you have weak adductors and A, B ductors, you're going to tend to have a reverse hip pivot, which will cause all types of problems with your swing. So that gives you perspective. You have your lats. Your lats are essentially what's creating that, that coil, that, that elastic tension that you're going to use to generate power on the downswing. So it's uh, very beautifully designed, uh, the body, for any, for any rotation or throwing task. So now let's look at the downswing and impact. So you can see now the transition shifts more to the quads, to the calves, more towards the uh, obliques, and they're working up in the opposite direction. So on the backswing, you're getting your obliques working more in a uh, eccentric, concentric, where you're creating this uh, eccentric load and then into a concentric, whereas on the downswing, you're going to create more of a concentric to eccentric. Concentric essentially means you're going to be accelerating and the eccentric is the braking mechanism. So to give you an idea of how these muscles behave. And then with generating power, you have all of your what we call outer unit muscles like your quads and your, your rectus abdominis contributing to being able to generate maximum force through impact. So with this being said, the better question is how the muscles are used and they're used in what we call muscular chains. You have what we call your inner unit and your outer unit. Your inner unit is essentially what's going to keep you balanced and allow you to maximize your ball control and uh, ball flight factors. Your outer unit is going to allow you to generate speed and power. But it's important that you have first a strong inner unit and then and then an outer unit. I oftentimes get golfers who uh, I just get their inner units balanced and they, and they start hitting the ball more accurately and they start hitting it with more with more distance. This is exactly how the monster golf swing system is designed. There's no, you don't have to think about this stuff. Just follow the instructions in the program 
and you'll and and this will happen. All of this, these ideas and techniques and concepts were 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 uh, considered when designing this program. So again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or if you want to learn a little bit more about the Monster Golf Swing System and how it can add 40 to 70 yards of distance to your drive and help you eliminate any physical obstacle that's been blocking you from playing your best golf ever, go to MonsterGolfSwing.com and watch that educational video and it will help explain to you a little bit more about this concept that we've discussed here. And if you haven't already, get in on the action on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Monster Golf Swing. All right, guys, you have any questions, you know where to find me. Other than that, I will talk to you soon. Take care.